what two important documents you need to apply for a job in Qatar. Channel, if you're new here, consider subscribing to this channel. Press that notification bell, you'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming. The returning subscribers, thank you so much for the support you've given me so far. Remember, we are looking at a road to 1,000 subscribers. Support this channel by subscribing and clicking the bell icon. You'll always be the first to know when I upload a new video. In today's video, we are going to look at the two most important documents. All the two most important things that you should have for you to apply a job in Qatar or in the Gulf country. It's quite very obvious to some people, but it may not be the same to another person. So in this video, we are going to try to share it out. There's something that you did not know. There's something that you've been missing out at one point of time. And that is that document that, me, that at most times has made very many people old. That's something that has always made very many people fail out to get these opportunities at one way or the other. Remember, I said, don't wait for the opportunity to look for you. Look for the opportunity. And the opportunity will always find that person who's ready. It will be that person that always gets that opportunity. In any case, you have to wait for it. It will always be for that person who is prepared to take that opportunity at that time. So we are going to look at the two most important things or two most important things you should have for you to apply for a job in Qatar. Remember, most of people have moved away from their countries. We are all looking for greener pastures. We are all looking for a living. We are all looking at a way we can support our families. We can support our brothers. We can support our fathers. We can support our mothers who are out there out aged at a particular time that they cannot no longer work we need to look for food for them we need to have what you call personal development at one moment of time that's why you'd move from one country to another to look for that money that can sustain can enable to sustain your family that can also enable to fulfill your dreams at one way or the other but remember before you plan to look for that opportunity before you try to look for that job what are these important things that you should have or you should know or you should have before you start up the journey such that you don't get stuck in one way or the other you don't get to regret in one way or the other you not get to 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 complain in one way or the other and this is what we're going to talk about in this week by the way don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to click the bell icon. You know we're looking at the road to 1,000 subscribers. Let's go straight into the video. One is your mindset. Remember, when we are talking about the mindset, what do you have? What do you want? What do you exactly want to do? What are your goals? What do you want to do? There may be short-term goals or there may be long-term goals. But what do you want to do as a person? What is your goal? your mindset remember this will set the beliefs it will shape you how you make sense of the world and how you sense at that time yes i want to go to work i'm moving out of my country what job do i have what to do how will i be able to accommodate myself in case i get to earn how do i have to 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 develop myself how I have to be able to make sure I divide this to give my family and also to have something for personal development. And remember, the mindset, what is your mindset at that time, will either let you accept that job that you want to do, or not accepting the job. You will either accept the offer given, given to you at that particular salary, or not accepting the offer. But you need to prepare this mindset and know what you're going to do. Most of people are failed out in any way because the mindset is not prepared. This person is just moving because of a bandwagon effect, what you call a bandwagon. 
because someone is moving i should also move it but remember we are born different we are different and each one has a goal in life each one has a family there is no one in your journey your journey is alone you start your journey you finish your journey people outside you will only have will only come in to celebrate the success of your journey but the journey is you the person to start it to finish it but how do you start the journey is with your mindset remember your mindset it will influence how you feel how you think at that time and remember this mindset at some time it can be in three categories or three kinds we have what we call abundance we have the positive mindset then we also have what we call the growth i'm going to do that job yes i'm going to do that job yes am i prepared for that job will i be able to deliver as expected which has to be in that kind of way so your mindset will be very important at that time before even you plan to look for a job are you going to be positive are you going to perform according to your employer you will not come to duty and you start complaining before even you finish the probation period which is quite not unfair that means you lie to your mind the important the important document number 2 is you need the passport i told you it's an official document that you need to have to move one country to another it is the second document you need remember the opportunity will not look for you you look for the opportunity and if this opportunity happens to come it finds you prepared with a passport then you'll be the one to take the opportunity you'll be the best target at that time but if this opportunity finds you your mindset is not prepared and you no have a passport which is the travel document from one area to another then that means you are not ready for that opportunity at that particular time this is exactly what happens so most of people have moved without knowing that even your mind is part of your travel at that time your mind is part your mindset is part of part of where as you try to make decisions especially if you are coming to work in the gulf countries because there are a lot of expectations versus the reality what you may expect at home is not the, is not what you find you may either be shocked or you may be appalled at one moment of time so those are the two most important documents the two most important things that you need to have before you look for a job in the gulf country thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for watching this video remember if you're new to this channel please consider subscribing and pressing we are looking at a lot 1000 subscribers it is your support guys that i'm asking for such that we can reach a 1000 subscriber uh, such that we this channel can help us grow remember we are here to share to grow our minds and to grow our brands in one way or the other and it's the only platform that we have don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share comment tell me what you feel about the video i'll always be more than happy to get back to you see you again in the next video it's mix from the mix creation don't forget to subscribe to this channel pressing the bell icon